Welcome. Let's discuss the area of a trapezoid. A trapezoid, it's a four-sided figure where there's only one pair of parallel lines. And to illustrate the area of this trapezoid, we're going to choose a vertex on the upper base, and then we're going to create a triangle inside this trapezoid. And now let's see what would happen if we get this section of a triangle and we rotate it clockwise around the intersection that we got on the other side of the triangle. Then notice that the original trapezoid, we were able to break this down into one big triangle. So the same formula that we have for the area of the triangle can be used to find the area of a trapezoid. Where the base of this triangle, it's the addition of the two bases in our trapezoid. So let's show the original trapezoid. Notice that after our rotation, the length of this base landed exactly in this section. And the height of this triangle, it's the same as the height of the original trapezoid. So we have the Bello F formula to find the area of any trapezoid. It is equivalent to one half times the addition of both bases times the height of the trapezoid. Let's take a look at one example. So here's a small reminder of what the area of a trapezoid is. It is one half times the height times the addition of both bases. And now let's apply this formula to find the area of the trapezoid on the left. If we take a look at the givens, notice that we have the value of both bases in our trapezoid. The order does not matter, we just need the length of both bases. So the only thing that is needed now is the value of the height. And for that, let's choose one vertex in our trapezoid and draw a vertical line to it. The length of this vertical line is what we can refer to as the height of the trapezoid. But notice that we have created a right triangle. So let's just analyze that triangle individually. If we let 30 degrees be our reference angle, then H can be seen as the opposite and 10 can be seen as the hypotenuse. So notice what we have and what we want. We have the length of the hypotenuse and we want the length of the opposite. Then we will use the sine function. because it is defined with the length of what we have and what we want. Now let's plug in this information. The sine of 30 degrees, it is equal to H over 10. And now if we multiply 10 to both sides, we have an expression for the height. 10 times the sine of 30 degrees. Let's use a graphing calculator to find that value. So we can conclude that the height is of 5. And now if we use the information that we have just gathered and we plug it in to our formula, we should be able to find the area now. One half times the height, which we found it to be five, times the addition of both bases. So that'll be six plus 14. Now let's simplify this result. And when we multiply those three values, we're gonna get a value of 50. Let's assume that all the lengths were given to us in centimeters. And if that is the case, then the area will not just be 50, but 50 centimeters square. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 